you're right though the sound design is consistently what the hell is that nope 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 oh the name of the movie nope because <laughs> you're gonna say nope 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 a lot in this movie just a couple of silly friends Hello, or should I say howdy? Welcome back to Two Friends React. I'm Enough. And I'm Ed. And I don't know why we're saying howdy today, but I love it. Well, today we're watching Nope, which I don't know much about, except that it's a Western horror. Like, that's I just saw more, that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's actually more than I knew about it. I'm going in completely blind. I know it's by Jordan Peele. That is literally the only thing I know about it. I never saw a preview. Yeah. I just, I heard it's good. I've liked the other things of Jordan Peele's that I've seen. So here we are. Yeah, that's pretty much all I know about it. Um, I was a big fan of Get Out, which I actually have like an interesting personal connection to that wasn't actually intentional by the filmmakers or had anything to do with the story they were trying to tell, which is when I have really severe neurological symptoms, symptoms, um, I experience something very akin to the sunken place. And I had been describing it to other people prior to that as sort of like feeling like I was really distant and watching everything through a TV screen. And when I saw that film, I was like, oh my God, this is so similar to what I've been trying to explain to people about how I've been experiencing things when I sort of lose a little bit of consciousness, but not all of it. Like I can't really communicate. I'm everything's so far away. And I was just really happy to see that portrayed in such a great way and now to be able to explain it to people as well have you seen get out you know the sun can play like and then they understand and it's great mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm probably awesome. gonna take this off <laughs> <laughs> okay um that's that's one of the great things about media in general movies tv art it doesn't matter um you often find meanings in ways the artist didn't necessarily intend, meanings that are personal to you. Once the author, the artist, the painter, the director, whoever it is, puts their work out there, um, that's it. The work is out there. The, the original author doesn't get a say in it anymore in terms of what it means to, to you, to the viewer. Um, yeah. So... It's now some people don't believe in death of the author. Uh, there's also what's called word of God. The idea that like when the author, the creator comes and says, no, no, this is what I meant. This is canon when it's not explicitly canon in the work. So there's a, a give and take between death of the author versus word of God, as it yeah. were. Um, and I'm more of a fan of of um, death of the author in general. Like once it's out there, it's it's up to me to decide what it means to me, uh, how I see it, what I get out of it. Um, but, yeah. uh, you know, for those who prefer word of God, hey, you know, in, in, yeah. in a way, it's the same thing. It's what it how how you view the art, what it means to you. If you get more meaning from, uh, from, you know, hearing what the author, what the original creator has to say about it, and and for that to be you know canon for you to be to be the real meaning hey great that 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 works for you fantastic yeah i think i tend to take both into account when i'm analyzing a work um and i find that i most often bring up the word of god option when i'm talking about dune and that's because it's so often misunderstood. A lot of geeks get like really into the sci-fi and sort of ignore all of the rest of what Frank Herbert was criticizing about Western imperialism and like exploiting indigenous cultures and resources. And he was very explicit about that in interviews if you weren't able to pick it up from the text. So I often bring up like, Actually, this was his intention. He was talking about it here, here, here. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, un unfortunately, you see that a lot with uh, works that are meant to be subversive or satirical or critical. People miss the point of that. Um, like, one of my favorite examples of this is where the book and the movie go two entirely separate ways. Yeah. Um, Starship Troopers. Starship <laughs> Troopers. Um, uh, I believe it's it's Clark wrote it or Heinlein? Heinlein. Heinlein. So uh, Heinlein meant it to be a positive thing. This essentially this this hyper militaristic kind of fascist uh, government society, military driven society, uh, whereas the movie, it's very much criticizing it very much um, uh, pointing out how like, no, this this isn't good. It may like, no, like it's also it's so over the top and obvious. I mean, Neil Patrick Harris is literally dressed like a Nazi. Like, yeah. come on, it's not <laughs> subtle. But a lot of people still miss it when they see the movie. They still think, oh, cool, Marines fighting bugs. This is neat. Um, yeah. And that's fine. It's it's fine. It is totally fine to enjoy works of art on a surface level. That is absolutely fine. But then you have things with like Fight Club where mostly men look at it and be like, yeah, I totally get that. I'm just like that. Let's start a fight club. Like, no, 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 no. The point of the movie in the book is criticizing toxic masculinity and hyper consumerism and like this, 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 well, just everything the movie talks about. And it's like, that gets a little frustrating. Like, yes, take from what you, what you want, but the point clearly just, mm. uh, anyway, yeah. um, so that's a very long intro um, <laughs> that has nothing to do with the film we're watching today. Uh, <laughs> but so, is, uh, is an introduction into how we communicate and discuss media on this channel. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I have I been think... saving this movie for this channel. I have been really wanting to watch it, so I'm very excited. I've almost watched it a few times but i, I held <laughs> out <laughs> okay we finally get to see it yep same here been meaning to watch it for ages and then when we decided that we were going to watch this as a channel i'm like all right gotta wait gotta wait <clears throat> this was the winner of our halloween poll for our patrons uh they got to vote on what we watched for halloween and this was what, what one so uh thank you so much to our patrons for uh for patrons for voting um and uh here you go enjoy showtime i feel like i have a very panto trost vibe going from dirk gently <laughs> which i mean goals I need to think things through. Somehow you'd think that a man who can send a rocket into space would be able to manage a halfway decent birthday present. Sounds like a sitcom. Yeah. <laughs> this went from fun sitcom to scary something very quickly. Yeah. I like the breath work. Oh my god. Uh, what? Well, it was a happy scene. There was a little birthday hat. It was, um, okay. The, yeah, wow. That, that opened quick. Creaking. I don't like that monkey looking at me. I generally am not a big fan of monkeys they kind of scare me because i watched outbreak way too many times followed by 28 <laughs> days later mm. it's not a good combo <laughs> that was a really creepy opening with not with like once the actual opening was on stage there was no dialogue it was the dialogue was before yeah that was that was disturbing i may react oddly to creepy things because I grew up running a commercial haunted house with my family and I just I notice I react differently than some people do <laughs> not, in a, not in a better or worse way just differently Bad. Bad. Whoa. historically there were quite a lot of 
um, cowboys of color, um, black, Latino, very common in the old West. And it's been kind of covered up. I mean, there must have been a fair number of Chinese as well, just because of how many uh, Chinese people were brought in um, for the railroad and, and other construction. So, well, you know, they got to bring us back for the sequel. Is that? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Keith David! Yes! So just oh, execute. I love that voice. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I love Keith David so much. He's such a phenomenal actor and one of the greatest voice actors ever. Uh, those who watch the channel know I love voice acting and voice actors. So yeah, I, I love Keith David. This is very exciting. That's a creepy screech. Uh oh. You maybe you should find some cover. Something's clearly falling. Sounds like bullets. No, yeah. they did not just kill. No. Oops. Why would you not Keith David? No. Aww. Fox. 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 When someone's injured like this, you want to keep them talking because you want to keep them conscious. I heard that was kind of a myth, that you wanted to let your body rest as much as possible if it wanted to. Oh. But... Oh, yeah? Well, if any of our viewers know one way or the other uh, about the whole keeping them talking or not, we'd love to hear. Um... Yeah, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> not medical yes. professionals. Neither of us are medical professionals, though I do technically work in the medical field, but not a trained medical professional. Oh, it's like just household objects raining from the sky. Mm. That's one of the first movies, wasn't it? I don't know. A little like Nickelodeon things. Mm. The still images that went around. Can't remember what that was called. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Bonnie Clay. <gasps> Is that a nameless numberhead man? I recognize that voice. Nameless what? <laughs> ben, this is OJ, our horse trainer. You remember these guys from Flashpoint? Yep, yep, it sure is. Who is who is it? He's from a, a film by Steven Soderbergh called Schizopolis. Uh, he plays Nameless Numberhead Man. Okay. He died about six months ago. A bunch of random shit. Oh no! The plane. He died. So I guess we're stuck with Junior over here. No. All right. Okay. I guess he is dead, and now I'm upset. My name is OJ. Um, I think my sister's gonna be here in a minute. Oh, sorry about that. Let me do it. Sorry, bro. Safety meeting. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so he's not big into public speaking. <laughs> yep. Did you know that the very first assembly of photographs in sequential order to create a motion picture was a two-second clip of a black man on a horse? And he is my great-great-grandfather. Great. There's another great-grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> Would we like to say since the moment pictures could move, we had skin in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I'm Emerald Haywood. I direct, write, produce, act. A motorcycles, baby. Look, I, I make a mean grilled cheese. If you're looking for crafty, just just holla at me. <laughs> She's great. Hey, you got to promote yourself. I love it. She's definitely got a lot of personality. Hey, 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 man! If she can't get about that, man? Course, what are we doing here? Hey, 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 hey! Oh shit! They are not listening. And M is not doing her job. That was... You'd think professional directors and, and movie people would understand, like, you don't mess around with animal safety. Don't fuck around with horses. It's how my aunt was killed. Jeez. And she'd been around horses most of her life, so... Yeah. 
their sound design. Until he said it, but yeah, you're right. Like, without without being generic, sort of spooky violin or whatever, it's it's painting a picture of of tension. You're right. The music, I love it. And not just the music. I mean, a lot of like amplifying the breath work, um, like amplifying certain sounds. I think it's doing a really good job. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the uh, Gold Rush area. This is all very familiar. Mm. It is very touristy nowadays. <clears throat> OJ, thanks for coming up. How you doing? It's my sister Elle. Hi there. So, uh, who'd you bring me? Uh, oh, lunch boxes. Good production design. Uh, hey, hold up. This you? you? You literally the Asian kid from Kids Share? Yeah, I was, uh, I was a little jupe. Ah, oh, dude, you were literally my favorite. You mind if I get a picture real quick? Browse away. Sukasa es mi casa. Thank you. Sukasa es mi casa? We wanted to uh, lay some groundwork uh, to a pathway of, of uh, buying some of them back. It's with the scissors. Scissors? It has like scissors mounted on his desk. Oh, oh the tape. <gasps> it's the monkey. Let me. Yo, let me... wait a minute. So that. OJ, am I showing you this? This is in reference to the Gordy's home incident. Oh, man. The monkey went crazy or some shit. You know, I usually charge a fee for this. Oh, damn. Who loves a secret room? No, that would be me. I do. And it was six minutes and 13 seconds of havoc. Network tried to bury it, but it was a spectacle. People are just obsessed. That's why they don't let you use chimps. That's part of the reason. So the, the animal handling thing is a frequent, like, recurring thing, obvious. Yeah, I've been wondering if this is going to be a critique of animal handling in Hollywood while also handling animals in the film. It's interesting. Saturday Night Live. Daryl Hammond is Tom. This guy's sketchy. Is Mary Jo Elliott. Well, he's a former child star who isn't a star anymore. He is killing on that stage. Killing. Literally killing, in the case of the actual monkey. He was there. Yeah, of course. They, it was his show that they were filming. Or, or, a, or a... Um, yeah, it was his show. Uh, he he was on the show, and then it looked like it was like a, a promotional thing on a talk show when the monkey went nuts. Hmm. No, I missed that the, the the child actor had been there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we didn't see him before. I just assumed he was there because hmm. they were promoting his his show. But yeah, we no, talked right. too they much. I missed that. <laughs> they didn't straight up say it. I love it when siblings hang out and have some good bonding time. To the man. I'll I'll uh, I'll toast to Keith David. Oh shit! Remember jean jacket? Jean jacket. <laughs> Pops did something when he made this place. He changed the industry. I can't just let that go. Why is Ghost in the arena? Check it out. Is it's that my one of your tomatoes? My very first persimmon. Oh, a persimmon. We did not know we had a persimmon tree. <laughs> and my housemate was like, what's that? <laughs> Been here for years, by the way. No idea. First persimmons. That's pretty funny. 
I'm ready. All right. Um, oh, no, three. Oh, 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 are you no, ready? No, no, kitten unplugged my thing. Dang it. Well, now, now you have to come and say hello to the camera. Hello. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> sweetie. What a cutie. And that's why we named her Licorice. <laughs> Love it. Um, I, I find it interesting that the horse, Ghost, gets a title card just in yeah. the middle of the movie. Like, we didn't see that for Lucky, I don't think. Did Lucky? I don't think Lucky got one. Yeah, I was wondering if it was a chapter card and the chapter was titled Ghost. No, well, that's the the horse. She's uh, Kiki, uh, the, the sister said, um, why is Ghost in the arena? So Yeah, I, I did hear that. I just thought maybe it was also a chapter name. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's not a good sound. That is that is not a normal sound. Whoa, okay. That certainly changes the atmosphere of the movie. You see it? The power? Where's Ghost? Saw so more than the power. Yeah. Oh no. Hold on. I like the way that he plays awkward. It feels very relatable. I don't view it as awkward as much as just very reserved, very much in his own head, just kind of, I get if that makes sense. I don't think they're mutually exclusive. True. What? What'd you see? Um, some shit. <laughs> What's a bad miracle? They got a word for that. Interesting question. A plague. Freaky stuff. That's big. How big? Big. What'd it look like? I don't know. It was fast. Too quiet to be a plane. OJ. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Actually, do you have a card with us? No, thank you. All right, well, would you like one? Because no, I thank you. you. Would you like one of our tech support personnel to help you with the insulation? No, 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 no. You see this? <laughs> uh, kitty. You're not going to be able to do it. What wow. happened? Did you guys get robbed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, a lot of blackouts. OK. All right, cell phones, they don't just drop in power, right? I mean, maybe your Wi-Fi drops out whenever your system dips. So, that's technology. Wow, that was condescending. Okay, or maybe you're in a UFO hotspot. <laughs> <laughs> no one believes in that. This is a weird interaction. That was a, that was a yeah. very weird interaction. Yeah, not realize you guys are this far out. Mm-hmm. I don't mind, though. Smell of poor shit and fresh air, right? Sorry if I was like a little shut down this morning. Just got out of a four year relationship. You were fine. Is this gonna take longer than an hour? Oh shit, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pop out. <laughs> you gonna... She's like, I'm not doing emotional labor for this yeah. straight man that's not happening. Her name was uh, <laughs> Rebecca Diaz. Oh God. She's an actress, model, you know? Yeah. She made the right choice. Do you know I'm calling me with those anymore? <laughs> they figured it out. I'm sure in that in that area, it's probably pretty common. Do you guys remember a few years ago the whole like Area 51 thing where people like did like an online get together and there were people like Naruto running to Area 51? Yeah. It is just wild that that happened and we just forgot about it. It's like. So much happens, it's just like, oh yeah, a bunch of people stormed a secret, not secret location, but like a classified U.S. military base. A bunch of civilians just ran at it and nothing happened. Like, I don't even, were there even arrests or like, I have no idea. It just, 
I don't know. I almost had a family member that went. We um, there's a ghost town in Nevada that we go to a couple times a year, and um, you go way, way out into the hills, way into the middle of nowhere. There's this guy that built a castle out there, and from that position, you can see Area 51. Oh, cool. He made it to host adult Halloween parties that he thought people would, like, helicopter into, and then nobody (laughs) wanted to do that. (laughs) Too much money, not enough sense. I don't know. There's just something kind of magical about the land it there's this energy i wake up in the morning and i look out across the desert there's just this feeling this like magical energy that's kind of indescribable it's really beautiful Hmm. so they changed the name to uap unidentified aerial they're fucking world killers planetary destroyers and that means that they've been fucking watching us. So that's what global warming is. And shove metal probes up our fucking asses. Hey, some this people are into is, that. Um, this guy's a lot. Yeah, some people will pay extra for that. History Channel, watch that shit. Don't. Aliens. Where'd you get it from? Don't worry about it. Now come on, help me out. I feel like you should worry about it. It is a decoy for horse training. Okay. We good. He don't know shit. Did she steal that? Yeah, she stole that. We setting up a decoy for horse training. <laughs> you know we got some of those. Where'd you Where'd get? Where'd you get yours? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm not really sure. She stole it. Hey. I wanted to invite you to our new family live show Friday at 5 p.m. People have cell phones. Yeah, I was just thinking you couldn't call. <laughs> that was weirdly awkward, but like I, I liked how it was done. I mean, you're really not going to tell me what the fuck is going on. <laughs> You'll know soon enough. Oh, cool. Cryptic. <laughs> I can monitor the feed very quietly myself, if you want free of charge. Hell no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's going no. to. Yeah, you're not friends because they hired you to do service. <laughs> yeah. Not entitled to watch their house. Yeah, that was a little creepy. Clover! Okay, we got another title card and another horse. Oh, they didn't find ghosts, did they? Okay, but what's no, the point that... of the horse of the horse training thing? I don't I didn't understand that. Um do any I of our see... viewers uh do any of our viewers know what, what, what that what the point of like the statue is for horse training? Like is that a thing? Yeah, so the sound design, like the amplified sprinkler that kind of sounds like a rattle, really adds mm. to the tension, I think. And the horse huffing. Mm-hmm. The horse noises. Yeah, there's a lot of emphasis on breath. Which I have found in my experience working at a haunt that breath is very unsettling for people. When I was 10, uh, yeah. I used to like get up really close to people and sniff them really loudly and that freaked them out oh yeah <laughs> um video games is the same thing like if, if i'm playing a horror video game and i hear a slight breathing it's like shit what's what's nearby what's around what's going on and i'm like freaking out you know mm-hmm. you're right though the sound design is consistently what the hell is that no 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 oh the name of the movie nope <laughs> Cause, Cause, you're gonna say nope, nope, <laughs> nope a lot in this movie. What the fuck? This is bringing back like phantasm vibes for me. 
I've never seen it. Ooh. Like the creaking. Whoa, oh, okay. yes! Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> hey, title drop! He said the name in the movie. Oh. Title drop. Oh, even with an old cell phone, this man knows that you take widescreen shots and film. Everyone nowadays just like holds it up vertically in portrait. You know, no, if you're taking film, freaking landscape mode, man. But if you're looking so that. intently in front of you, then you're not looking behind you. Yep. See what I say. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he just punched it. <laughs> Don't mess with Jupiter's claim. Oh, is that, that where was, they stole uh, the horse from? No, that was the theme park. Yeah, yeah. Why is he there? Like, there's no... Fries isn't open 24-7, is it? Yeah, but if he's closing or he has work to do or whatever. I used right. to work night shift at a mall. And I remember shifts? walking out into the mall. All the lights are on. Christmas music is playing. Oh. And I'm the only one there. That's some that creepy, creepy shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rang Mantis. Just calling to tell you that there's a bug on camera A. I know. <laughs> You're not supposed to be watching it. Camera B is down. What? Camera B is down. Like ancient fucking aliens down. He is creepy. Yeah. I do not like him. That's not okay. He is also doing something probably illegal. It's in the cloud. Like the shadow work. Hello? What happened to OJ? It's fine. She's like the audience, just what's going on? <laughs> Alone. Ah, yes, you go up on the roof during a storm. Right. Or when they're aliens. Either way, make yourself much more visible <laughs> and easy to abduct. The sound that, yeah, like the thump, thump, thump. That was a choice, you know? You like sound oh, yeah. Cute. I like Sour Patch Kids. Yeah. I like to make my own by um, candying lemon peels and then Ooh. dusting them with uh, sugar and what's the other thing? Uh, citric acid. Oh, hello. Oh, that yummy. is a very, yep, that is a clear flying saucer or UFO or UAP or whatever. Oh, that reminds me, I actually made candied orange peels once years ago. Nice. Oh no, Clover! Oh, Clover! That thing was flying low. Oh. <laughs> now it leaves. Pray, man, just that mother pray I don't ever see him, because if I do, I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> Let's go. Where? That was cute. <laughs> I got me a little situation, and that water texting me back right now. It's not coming again tonight. Makes you think you're going to be safer in Outwater. It ain't worth it. No, nope. Well, as far as you know, it's only coming here, not Outwater. I like her reaction. Like, this is a normal reaction to finding out aliens are nearby and stealing your horses. Mm-hmm. You hear that? Yay, more Keith David. Ghost out there. I'm glad we got more. Acting on territorial. Oh, hi. Is this, uh, Amber? And that's Michael Wincott. 
We love Michael Wincott. He's cool, too. Hey, yeah, I'm Emerald Haywood. Uh, we met a couple days ago at the commercial. Oh, yeah, I'm Russ Girl, sure. Guess I'm talking to motion picture royalty, then. God, he's got such a cool voice. Um, I'm gonna be real with you. We don't have a lot of money to pay you up front. You know, not like you used to. You pay me an exposure? Yeah. One for me, so... What is it? That is a good voice. Reality. Yeah. <laughs> so again, what's it about? It's about the shit dreams is made of, baby. She's I'm not surprised. selling this well. Yeah. Well, we're looking for the impossible shot. There's something out here in Agua Dulce, and you're probably the only person in the world that could get it on film. That's it. Really? The only one? This This is ridiculous. Yeah. It's the dream you never wake up from. What? I'm so happy he's getting work. Very Tom Waits-ish. He was he he did a lot of work in the 90s as like villains in like sort of mid-budget action movies. Yeah. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the crow, he was so good in that. Um but then he just kind of disappeared for a long time. So it's good to see him in like a big Hollywood movie, you know? I mean, I do kind of like that he cares about them. Yeah. I got the sense he had a working um, a working relationship with their father. Hmm. At least that's sort of how I'm seeing it. Like he's doing it as a sort of a favor. A, a working thing. relationship, not a close relationship necessarily with the father, Spouse. but like a working relationship. Yeah, what are they looking at? Okay, uh, tell me when you see it. I guess we're gonna find out right now. <laughs> there. Doesn't move. Yep. Oh! <laughs> and that cloud has been right there, at least since I set the cameras up. I'll probably be looking at the same damn cloud every day for the last six months. How would you not notice that? I wouldn't notice it's a cloud i think i would notice but maybe i just look at the clouds but a lot. we have proof of aliens on video yeah i wouldn't call it proof are you serious it's just yeah. a cloud could be some kind of spy program some kind of military something it doesn't move like a ship what you mean oj what if it's not a ship Wow, yes. that is that is a twist. I wasn't expecting that at all because it it looks like like it looked like a, a standard flying saucer, but yeah, it doesn't move like one. And um, they were very careful to only show us like the shadow going in and out, so we don't actually know what it is. Yeah, and that will do it for part one of our Halloween special, where we are watching and reacting to Nope. Nope. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, stay tuned for part two, and we'd love to see you then. If you want to vote on what we watch next, it's only $2 a month at our Patreon. We also have early access, extended length videos, exclusive content, all sorts of fun stuff, plus the Discord community where you can interact with us and have a good time. Yeah, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the description for our Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>